In this video, we are going to go over how you can win more gunfights in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 to improve at the game and also climb them ranks in rank play. What is going on guys, T-Tizzle here bringing you another YouTube video. In today's video, we are going to go over how you can take your game to the next level and win more gunfights in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. We are going to cover 5 tips in this video, so make sure you watch until the end to know what the best tip is. Also, let me know down below what is the biggest killstreak you have won on so far in Modern Warfare 3. If you guys do find this video useful or entertaining, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, and hitting that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And with that, let's go ahead and hop right into the tips. So the very first tip I want to give you guys, especially if it is your first game on for the day, is just hop into a custom game with some recruit bots and get warmed up. I know it's pretty weird to think about, but playing a video game is truly a lot like playing a sport. For example, if you've seen an NBA player start a game without warming up at all, their game is definitely going to look off as compared to how they would usually play. But if you let them do a few layup lines, let them shoot around, let them stretch and get warmed up, they're going to be playing a lot better once they get into a flow. A video game is a lot like that. you got to get into a flow and then get warmed up before you play, especially in some of them higher skill lobbies. So I would recommend hopping into a custom game, especially if your friends aren't waiting for you. Get your movement warmed up, get your shot warmed up, and make sure you are ready to go before you hop into a higher skilled lobby. It's definitely going to help you guys out quite a bit, and make sure that you're using the weapon that you plan to use. So if you're going to be running around with an assault rifle in rank play, don't go around just sniping. Or if you're going to be using an SMG, don't go around knifing or anything like that. And also, don't use any kill streaks because the only goal of doing this is to just get as many kills as possible with your gun to make sure that you are warmed up before you play your first actual match. If you guys are using kill streaks, it's going to get a ton of kills, and that's not the goal of this. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I do to get warmed up. I'll show you the settings I do and how I properly get the match set up. So this is how I set up a lobby whenever I'm trying to get warmed up. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is just put on six recruit bots. And then the next thing that I like to do is put on team deathmatch as my game mode. This really doesn't matter, but the overall goal here is to just get as many kills as we can. So I feel team deathmatch is the easiest to do that. For the map, I like to play on the map meet just because I feel it is the easiest to get from spawn A to spawn B and optimize the amount of kills you can get in your time limit you have here. And then for the time limit, I like to set it to about 10 to 30 minutes. It really depends just how long I want to try to get warmed up for. And then set the score limit all the way to the max so that I'm just constantly playing and a game doesn't end just because I hit a certain score limit. The very next thing that you guys are going to want to do is go over to the team tab and then you're going to want to put radar always on and switch this to directional. This will make sure you aren't just looking for the enemy team or the bots in the game. This will show you where they are on the mini map at all times. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is go to spawn ammo mags and set this to max. This is going to give you the max amount of ammo that your gun can hold so that you aren't running out of ammo when you're running around trying to kill bots. So the very next tip I want to give you guys is just make sure you have the proper settings enabled. So you're going to want to go over to your settings tab and the first thing you're going to want to look at is under controller. The first thing that I want to do is turn off controller vibration. Controller vibration will make your hands moderately shake which could throw off your shot sometime and that could be the difference between life and death for you in the game. Then under the aiming tab, the sensitivity is personal preference. I like to play on 8.8. I feel like that is the best for me. The aim response curve type, you're definitely going to want to use dynamic. This is the best aim assist setting in the game. It's going to make your aim feel a lot stickier. And then obviously, if you do not have aim assist on, make sure you turn it on. It is going to be a game changer. And then under the gameplay tab, you're going to want to switch automatic sprint to automatic tactical sprint. This will extend the duration of your controller, plus make your movement a lot better. You won't have to spam L3 to sprint. Instead, you just got to push the stick forward. And then the last item is I like to change my slide slash dive behavior to slide only. This is because I want to be slide canceling all over the map to help me with my movement. The next thing we're going to look at is going to be under graphics. So the first thing you want to turn on is on demand texture streaming. If you have a good internet connection, this will make the game look a little bit more vibrant for you. Then you're going to want to turn off all types of motion blur. You're going to want to turn film grain all the way down, depth of field, turn that off. Fidelity cast, turn that on, and have the strength turn all the way up. 
And then finally, for audio, make sure you have on headphone bass boost. This is going to be the best audio setting to help you hear some of them footsteps. So the very next tip I want to give you guys is to use movement to your advantage. We're going to go over four specific movement types to help you guys in your gameplay. So the very first one is going to be the most simple, and it's going to be jump shotting. All jump shotting is is going to be whenever you're shooting your gun, you're going to want to jump left and right. And the goal of this is to make your enemy miss at least one or two bullets to help you get the edge in the gunfight. The next movement method is going to be the drop shot. It's just going to be the exact opposite of the jump shot. Whenever you're shooting, you're just going to want to lay down, shoot, lay down, shoot, lay down. And the goal is going to be to make your enemy also just miss one or two bullets, helping you win the gunfight. So you can combine these movement methods together where you could jump around a corner and then drop shot. Or you could slide around a corner into a drop shot and stuff like that to help you win more gunfights. So the next movement method we're going to cover, which is a little bit more advanced, is going to be the slide cancel. This is going to help with your mobility and then getting around corners and challenging gunfights a little better. In order to slide cancel, all you got to do is slide, slide again, and then hit X. Slide, slide again, and hit X. Slide, slide again, and hit X. And then do that over and over again to get you in a rhythm of how to slide cancel in this game. And you could use this to your advantage when you go around corner. You can slide cancel into rooms and challenge people. Or you could always slide cancel into a head glitch and challenge people that way. And then the very last movement method we're going to cover is a little bit more advanced, which is going to be called snaking. This is so overpowered that it's actually banned in the Call of Duty Pro League. So this is definitely something you're going to want to have in your arsenal. All snaking is is basically going up and down on a head glitch. So this is what the mechanic looks like. You're going to look like you're kind of running and sprinting at the head glitch, but from the enemy's point of view, they are not going to be able to see you. So I'm going to try to teach you guys how to do that really quick. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just back up, lay down. Back up and lay down. That's going to be the first part of the movement. So then once you're in the laying down speed, then you're going to want to crawl and sprint. Crawl, sprint. Crawl, sprint. And then you just want to put them together. Lay down and then get back up. Lay down, get back up. Lay down, get back up. And you're going to do this over and over, and it makes you virtually unkillable on some of these head glitches, which is exactly why it's banned in the Pro League. You can use this to your advantage to kind of just watch different angles where an enemy can't kill you, but you can see them, and then call it out to your teammates. So definitely make sure you guys try to learn how to do this to help you out. So pay attention here really quick. I'm going to be using movement to the best of my ability to try to win as many gunfights as I can here while also explaining my next big tip. And the next big tip I have for you guys is going to be centering. And all centering really is is just effectively predicting where you think the enemy team is going to come. So for example, all you're going to do is look at your crosshairs. You're going to have the little white dot on the screen. And you're just going to always try to predict exactly where you expect the enemy team to come from. So if I was thinking somebody's going to be coming down this lane right here, I'm going to make sure my crosshairs are locked on to that exact spot. Same thing, if I expect them in this area, I'm going to keep my white crosshair right there at all times. And the main reason for doing that is because, like right there, you see I did it perfectly. Exactly where I thought the guy was going to be coming from, I was able to lock on and shoot him in the head really quick. I heard this guy cook a grenade, and he ended up killing me. He was in a different corner last time. But we'll see if we can't go in there. We'll break this hill really quick. And just make sure whenever you guys are playing, just always be centering and always have that in the back of your mind. I have played this game so much now that it's second nature and I don't even realize it anymore. But always just effectively make sure that your white crosshairs are where you expect the team to be. So that guy ended up getting me with the shotgun there. You hate to see it. But I'll show you guys one more time, one quick example. See if we can't call in this EMP real quick. Get them a little bit flustered. We're going to keep the white dot where we expect them to be. They're going to be on this stair probably. I'm going to keep my white crosshair here. And easy kills. Right there. Free three-piece. All because of centering right there and using a little bit of movement. So if you guys are properly centering, especially when you're playing ranked play to hold some of them bigger lanes, you guys are definitely going to win a whole lot of more gunfights. So let's see if we can't snake these guys a little bit real quick and get as many kills as we possibly can. So there's two freebies right there. They're a little bit keen on me up here now. Let's get this last guy. Three... Four. There we go. Broke the hill. Free four piece. You just love to see that. The very next tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you guys are always properly positioning yourself to put yourself in the best possible position to suit the weapon that you are currently using. So for me, I am an SMG player. I'm naturally just going to play more aggressive. I'm going to be the one playing the point. I'm going to try to cut off close quarter angles and cut the enemy team off from getting to the new hard points and holding tight angles like that. But if you guys are an assault rifle player, you're definitely going to be wanting to be sit back on head glitch and trying to pick people off hard points from a distance. 
So, like, a prime example is going to be right here. If I was an assault rifle player, I would have probably sat all the way back and started picking people off from the hard point there. But as the SMG player here, I'm always going to be sprinting at where the enemy team is on the map and try to take the fight to them to put myself in the best possible position to win the gunfight based on the weapon I am currently using. So you can see right here, I'm going to go on a pretty big flank because I see the enemy team is spawning over here. I know they're probably going to be hitting the point from behind. They're all going to try to flood the hard point. And because I closed the engagement here, played it smart, and didn't just headbutt them, I was able to get a few free kills right there. So not every time you're to be in like a head-to-head -head gunfight, if you play your positions properly, especially as a good SMG player, a lot of your kills are going to be just like that. So the advanced UAV, it'll help out a lot. Obviously, you won't have this in ranked play, but we see where they're spawning. We know they didn't see us. Oh, one did see us. We're going to try to get him, and then we get the other. But yeah, guys, that's basically going to be the tip. Just make sure that you are always positioning yourself for the weapon that you are currently using. If you're using a sniper, you're going to play further off. If you're using an assault rifle, you're going to be holding spawns and try to pick people off at range. If you're using the SMG, you're going to do your best to get up close and personal and then hold them close quarter lanes and stop the enemy team from getting the hard point like you're seeing me do right here. So we see that they're all spawning right here. My entire team is on the point. So my goal is going to be to keep taking the fight to these guys and try to kill them or at least get them weak before they can even get to the point. So let's see if we can't get this sniper real quick and just like that, guys. So make sure you always play the positions to your advantage to help you and your team out to win more gunfights. And that is going to do it for the video, guys. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please drop a like, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to know what the top five best guns to use are in Call of Duty Modern Warfare rank play, make sure you watch a video in the first link in the description below to take your rank play game to the next level. And with that, I will catch you all in the next one.